This is my old iMac, and this is my new MacBook Pro. I want to move stuff from this onto this. Here's how to move files from your old computer to your new MacBook. First, go to your old Mac, find the files you want to transfer, print them all out, and then type them into the new MacBook Pro. It's as easy as that. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Okay, it doesn't work exactly like that. It's actually even easier. And it would mean a lot to me if you did like this video and subscribe to our channel. Today I want to show you how to move files from one computer to a new Mac using a tool from Apple called Migration Assistant. Migration Assistant works for both Mac computers and PCs running Windows 7 and later. Either way, there's a couple things you should do before you begin to ensure a smooth process. First, install any available OS updates to your old and new computers. And while you're doing so, make a note of what version of Mac OS you're running. I have Catalina on both these computers, but they don't have to match for this to work. Next, we have to make sure both computers can talk to each other. You can accomplish this by making sure they're both connected to the same network. For Macs running Mac OS Sierra or later, they can also connect via Wi-Fi, as long as they're close together. There are a couple more little setup things to do for a PC, but for now, let's focus on these Macs. On the new Mac, open Migration Assistant, which is located in the Utilities folder, and click Continue. The first option here will let you find your old computer, so hit Continue. On the old Mac, you need to do the same thing, except this time select the bottom option, to another Mac. My iMac is now discoverable on the network. And here it is on the new MacBook. I'll select it, click Continue, and see a code. Confirm you can see the same code on the old Mac, and click Continue. And now the magic happens. The old Mac will look for the data you can transfer to the new one, and you'll see the results on the new machine. I don't have enough room on this drive to transfer at all, so we'll just focus on the photos and music for now. Since this is a work laptop and this is my personal iMac, the user accounts don't match, so I have to set up a password for the old account on the new computer. If the accounts do match, you'll be asked to rename the incoming account to replace the one currently on the new Mac, which will overwrite the one you're using now. Just do whichever one makes the most sense for you. Okay, everything's authorized. I'll click continue. And off we go. Depending on how much data you're transferring and the speed of your connection, it could take hours for the transfer process to finish. Or maybe not, who am I to say? Let's take a look at the process on Windows. It's basically the same, to be honest, but there's a couple things to check out first. If you happen to use OneDrive, Apple suggests uninstalling it before transferring data to your new Mac. You won't lose any data by uninstalling the app, and you can put it back on when you're done. Also, to make sure your computer's hard drive is healthy, open up a command line and run the check disk utility. Mine doesn't show any problems, so I'm good to go. Now back to Migration Assistant. You'll need to download it for Windows based on the version of Mac OS you're running on the new computer. I'll put the links in the video description, but here's the one I need for Catalina. Once that's installed, open it up, and from here the process is exactly the same as before. Connect the computers, this time choosing from a Windows PC, look for the security codes, and select the items to transfer. You're a little bit more limited in what you can transfer from Windows to Mac OS, but you can still transfer Outlook data, bookmarks, photos, and iTunes data. Yes, some people use iTunes on Windows. Weird, right? Click continue and get comfy while everything transfers over. When that's all done, you'll need to log into the user account associated with the data to access it. If that's a new account, you may be asked if you want to set up Touch ID and choose the light or dark theme. You may notice the desktop and startup items look familiar if you've transferred those settings too. And now here are my transferred files ready to use on my new MacBook Pro. If you're getting rid of your old computer, CNET has great articles on how to wipe your old MacBook or Windows PC before you sell it. And yeah, reading's great and all, but let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on how to wipe your computer before you get rid of it. And if not, fine, but let me know what you do want to see in a future video here on how to do it all.